Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can take better photos and video with your smartphone. So what I have in front of me here is the Mpow M Lens V1 and they're basically three clip-on lenses that you use with your smartphone. You basically put them over the lens and it's going to give you unique shots like wide angle, fisheye and macro lens. So if you are a tech YouTuber or even a vlogger or you just take photos with your smartphone as a hobby, this might be a great little product for you to check out. As we take a look around the box here, I just want to mention that you can check out other people's reviews, pricing, availability, as well as full specifications of these M Lens V1s. There's a link in the description. You can check that out for yourself. But let's go ahead and open this up here and see how these lenses look and how they perform with the iPhone 6S. Now, mind you, this is not iPhone limited. So if you do have an Android device, as long as the clip-on fits, you should be okay, and uh, it doesn't work with cameras that have dual lenses, unfortunately. Now, the lenses come in this plastic case here, I guess, for convenience and portability, but once you open them up, you're greeted with a cleaning cloth, microfiber, and then your three lenses, macro, wide angle, and fisheye. So let's go ahead and take a look at each one of these individually, and we'll see how they perform in real life situations. First off, I'm actually really pleasantly surprised that each lens is individual. I thought that you were going to have to screw on the lenses to the clips. So that's nice to see right off the bat. They all have a little case for their lens. This one that we're looking at right here, it actually says what it is on the side. The lens is metal, has a metal frame. The clip is plastic, but just for the sake here, we'll take a look. This is the 0.36 times super wide angle lens. And we also have this one here, which is basically our macro lens for close-up shots. And it's got a plastic end here, which I'm assuming is for super close-up. So you kind of just lean this on there. We'll check that out. And then finally, we have the fisheye lens here. And again, we'll just take a look at the lens itself. And you can see it's kind of got that rounded fisheye look to it. So we'll go ahead and put these on the iPhone right now. And I'll show you how it works and how they fit. And of course, how they look. So the way that these clip-ons work is very simple. It's kind of like a closed peg. It opens and closes by pressing on the back end there. Now inside you have a rubber fitting, so you're not gonna have to worry about damaging your smartphone. And they just basically clip over the camera lens like so. You just wanna align it as best as you can and then release. And there you go. Now you've got your fisheye, wide angle, or macro lens on your smartphone. Now it doesn't matter if your camera is in the middle, right, left, as long as it fits over it, you should be fine. So let's start off with the macro lens to get a close up here of a quarter. And you can see I'm going right up against it and you can see all the details, the scratches, the discoloration of the paint. Going all around it, you can see everything, all the detail about it. Same thing with the stone wall that I just put up here. If you get really close to it, you can see all the different colors and textures within it. And it looks really nice. And lastly, a close-up of this plastic duck. So in this clip, we're going to use the fish eye lens. And we're just going to clip this on to the rear-facing camera. And we'll see how that looks. And that sort of gives you that fish eye look. And you can sort of see how it's kind of rounded, like a fish eye. Now, depending on how nicely you put it on, because if you do miss, you can see that you'll get those dark spots if you don't have it on perfectly. But just a comparison, that's off and that's on. So again, just like with the wide angle, you're getting a lot more real estate in your shot, but it's more rounded and it's more like a fish-eyed look. You can see that everything's kind of flowing out. That's a straight wall, but it's kind of curved. So the fish-eyed look. So this clip, I'm using the front-facing camera of my iPhone, and you can see you're not getting much in the frame here. I'll just show you what's around me because I'm gonna clip this on the wide angle lens in real time here. So we'll start from the middle here. I'll just clip it onto the front facing camera. And there you go. Look at how much more real estate you get in the photo. It looks a lot nicer with everything else in the background. Again, we'll just remove this quick. That's off and that's on. So you're getting a lot more real estate in your shot with this super wide angle and the quality is really nice. So if I just tap to focus on different areas. You can see the white balance changes just like it would normally. The one thing you need to keep in mind if you're using this though, is that you're not going to be able to use your flash because it does cover up the flash on the rear facing camera of the iPhone. So you can definitely see the improvement and the quality of these clip-on lenses and how 